Welcome to Discipleship Week 3. We'll be discussing Genesis 43 through 50 and Exodus 1 through 12. In Genesis 43, how did the brothers' continued sin come back to haunt them? Did polygamy make the family weakness of favoritism even worse? In Genesis 44, why did Joseph set his brothers up? How did it play out? In Genesis 45, why was Joseph no longer able to contain himself? Did God have a purpose in all this family drama? In Genesis 46, why did God encourage Jacob to go to Egypt? How many of the sons of Jacob can you name? How do they foreshadow the apostles? In Genesis 47, how did God take care of Joseph's family? Was Joseph's deal with the people righteous or extortion? Why? In Genesis 48, Manasseh and Ephraim are discussed, who later formed two separate tribes. Which tribe later left its place to retain the number of twelve tribes of Israel? How does this relate to the apostles? In Genesis 49, was Joseph blessing his sons mean-spirited or right and just? Why? Which tribe did Judah become? In Genesis 50, why was Joseph's forgiveness of his brothers so important? Congratulations, you've finished Genesis. In Exodus 1, how did the circumstances for the Israelites change after Joseph's death? What caused the political situation to change? What atrocity did Pharaoh plan? In Exodus 2, how was Moses born? What crime did he commit that caused him to flee the country? How old was Moses when he fled? In Exodus 3, why was the experience with the burning bush so significant? How old was Moses when God appointed him to lead Israel? Is there a significance to his preparation by being a shepherd for 40 years? In Exodus 4, was Moses almost too humble? Why was God angry with him? In Exodus 5, what was the result of Moses and Aaron's first effort in Egypt? Does this kind of thing happen a lot in doing God's will? What did God say? In Exodus 6, how was Moses received by the Israelites? Why would God insist upon sending a man with faltering lips? In Exodus 7, why would God perform a miracle that the magicians also performed? What's the significance of the plague of blood? In Exodus 8, what's the significance of the plagues of frogs, gnats, and flies? In Exodus 9, what's the significance of the plagues of cattle sickness, boils, and hail? In Exodus 10, what's the significance of the plagues of locusts and darkness? In Exodus 11, what's the significance of the death of the firstborn? Is God fair? In Exodus 12, what's the name of the first month? What happened on the tenth day? What happened on the fourteenth day? What's the significance of bitter herbs? What's the significance of unleavened bread for Christians? What's the significance of the lamb for Christians? What's the significance of being symbolically circumcised through baptism for Christians? How does coming out of Egypt picture coming out of the bondage of sin? Well, that's it for this time. Next week, we'll be covering Exodus chapter 13 through 32. God bless you all. Music